parts of a thesis. Every thesis begins with a title page. This gives you the title of the thesis, the name of the author, and the date that the thesis was officially submitted and approved. The second page generally is the signing page. This is where the committee members who have approved the thesis actually submit their signatures. This is followed by the acknowledgments that thanks everybody that made the thesis possible. A table of contents followed by an abstract that summarizes the thesis. All of these sections are generally written toward the end of the process. The key chapters of a thesis include chapter one, the introduction. This chapter summarizes what the thesis is about. It tells us why it's significant, why it's meaningful, why should we care about this particular topic. Chapter two is often the literature review. This is a review of prior studies related to this particular thesis's topic. This helps the reader have a context for your study. It helps the researcher conduct a better study because they understand what's gone on before. And it also demonstrates that you have done your homework. Chapter three, the methodology. This is the research method that you will employ in your project. Maybe you did an oral history or a content analysis. You explain to the reader which method you chose and then in detail you explain how you applied that methodology. Chapter four, the findings. This is the chapter that explains after you applied the research method, what did you find out? What did you discover? What were the findings? Chapter five is generally the conclusion. This is the chapter that summarizes the project and what you found out, but then takes a step back and gives us a broader perspective of where this thesis fits in in connection with earlier studies. This tells us why this project was meaningful and it also sometimes suggests future research ideas as well as telling us what some of the limitations of your own project might have been.